The abdomen is a large cavity that houses important organs, especially those related to the digestive and urinary system. It is separated from the thorax by the diaphragm and from the pelvis by the pelvic inlet. While the vertebral column supports the abdomen from behind, the walls of the abdomen are made up of muscles and fascia which support and protect the delicate organs within. The anterior abdominal wall is limited superiorly by osteocartilage extending on either side from the xiphoid process along the lower costal margin to the tip of the twelfth rib. Limited inferiorly by lines extending on either side of the pubic symphysis along the pubic tubercle, pubic crest, inguinal ligament, anterior superior iliac spine, and iliac crest. The wall is divided into nine regions by two vertical and two horizontal imaginary planes. The inguinal canal is a small canal in the groin region on either side. The canal runs amongst the anterior abdominal muscles and superolateral to the pubic tubercle for a distance of about 4 centimeters. It extends from the deep inguinal ring to the superficial inguinal ring and carries the spermatic cord in males. The posterior abdominal wall includes the lumbar vertebrae, attached muscles and fascia, vessels and nerves. It extends from the diaphragm above to the pelvis below. Major viscera are located in front of the posterior abdominal wall, and some of these are retroperitoneal. It consists of five main muscles, the psoas major and minor, the iliacus, the quadratus lumborium, and the diaphragm. The left upper quadrant of the abdomen is occupied by two main organs the stomach and the spleen. The stomach is a part of the digestive system connecting the esophagus to the duodenum. It is an organ of temporary storage for the ingested food. It secretes digestive juice and acid that initiates the digestion. Its muscular wall churns the food before it passes on to the duodenum in small installments through the pyloric sphincter. The duodenum and the pancreas are two closely related organs present in the retroperitoneal area of the posterior abdominal wall. The duodenum is a C-shaped tube with the head of the pancreas lying in its concavity. It is the first part of the small intestine in which pancreatic juice and bile digest the chyme coming from the stomach. The duodenum is divided into four parts. D1, D2, D3, and D4. These are also named the superior, descending, horizontal, and ascending. The jejunum and ileum form the second and third parts of the small intestine, respectively. Together they form the principal segments for digestion and absorption in the gastrointestinal tract. The coils of jejunum and ileum lie within the frame formed by the large intestine. Thus they are seen in the central and lower parts of the abdomen, with a few coils extending into the pelvis. The large intestine is a continuation of the small intestine. It extends from the ileocecal junction to the anorectal junction and includes the cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum. Its lumen is wider than that of the small intestine, though its length is shorter. The liver is a large wedge-shaped vital organ in the abdomen 
that is closely associated with the digestive tract. Hence, it is classified as an accessory organ of the gastrointestinal tract. Its principal secretion is bile. It is a metabolic filter for the incoming portal blood. Besides this, it has several other functions. It is located below the diaphragm and is suspended from it by peritoneal ligaments. It occupies the upper abdomen mainly in the right quadrant. The extrahepatic biliary apparatus consists of the right and left hepatic ducts, common hepatic duct, common bile duct, cystic duct, and the gallbladder. Bile produced by the liver is carried via a system of ducts which successively join one another to form larger ducts. These end in two principal ducts, the right and left hepatic ducts, which emerge from the liver. These join to form the common hepatic duct. The cystic duct joins the common hepatic duct to form the common bile duct. The common bile duct runs a long course to reach the terminal part of the pancreatic duct, with which it joins to form the hepatopancreatic dilatation called the ampulla of Vater. The kidneys are important organs of the urinary system that help to maintain water and electrolyte balance and remove waste material from the body. It is one vital organ that is present as a pair. This is an advantage. Even if one kidney is pathological, the person can survive with the other kidney. In addition, the kidneys also perform some endocrine functions. The urine formed by the kidneys is carried by the ureters to the urinary bladder. From here it is voided through the urethra. The peritoneum is a smooth, serous membrane that lines the interior of the abdominal cavity and its viscera. It consists of the parietal peritoneum and the visceral peritoneum, which enclose a cavity called the peritoneal cavity. The visceral peritoneum is thrown into several folds called ligaments, omenta, and mesentery, which suspend the visceral organs in the abdominal cavity. The main peritoneal cavity is called the greater sac. There is a smaller cavity called the lesser sac between the liver and the stomach. The two are connected through the epiploic foramen. The aorta is the principal blood supply to the abdomen and also the regions below it. It supplies both the abdominal viscera as well as the abdominal wall through several visceral and stomatic branches. It enters the abdomen at the aorta hiatus of the diaphragm. It descends vertically and retroperitoneally in front of the lumbar vertebrae and divides at the lower border of the fourth lumbar vertebrae into the right and left common iliac arteries. The inferior vena cava is the principal systemic vein of the body that carries blood from structures below the diaphragm to the heart. It is formed by the union of the common iliac veins at the level of the fifth lumbar vertebra. It passes vertically upwards through the diaphragm and then drains into the lower part of the right atrium. It runs on the right side of the abdominal aorta end to end. The lumbar vertebral column is behind it. The nerves of the abdomen include the somatic autonomic nerves associated ganglia, and plexuses. The somatic nerves include the lower intercostal, subcostal, and the lumbar plexus. The autonomic nerve supply is via the sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves. The sympathetic nerves include the greater splanchnic, lesser splanchnic, and least splanchnic nerves, and the lumbar plexus. The parasympathetic innervation is via the vagus nerves and the pelvic splanchnic nerves.